Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Back out here in Lake of the Woods. Beautiful spring day. And I'm layered up, if you can believe it. That's a terrible cast. It's a fish though. Ooh, thought it was. Yep, there's a fish. That one. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, guys. That's a good good sign for today. This guy is cold. What is so hard to believe is it's May. Fish are still incredibly cold. We've had nights that have gotten down into the low 40s. I'm still running my heat in May. Like, the weather is crazy. Let's get this guy back in the water. Jumped. Anyway, um, it's a nice day out. Actually, the sun has come out. It's been raining and the wind has been blowing like crazy. You can probably hear it now. We're gonna get some gusts today. I gotta hurry up and talk before I blow off of this spot again. Actually, let me go back first. All right, so that's better, but the wind is probably gonna blow me out of position before I can get this done. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this guy on. I'm putting on a Kitek, as you can see. First throw with a single tail grub, landed a fish, as you saw. The sun is popping in and out of the clouds. Um, like I was saying, the weather has been crazy. I'm sure it's been crazy where you've been to, where you know it'll be 70 some degrees during the day, drop down to the low 40s at night. Wind's blowing like crazy all the time. Um, and we've gotten a lot of rain. Just so happened the sun popped out today. So uh, should be a good day of fishing. If that's any indication, hopefully it'll be good. I don't know if you're superstitious. Do you believe that after, if you get catch a fish on your first cast, the day's gonna be horrible? I don't particularly believe that. But anyway, I'm hoping the SkyTech will catch a fish. Um, And I just want to see. I'm hoping if the fish are biting good, I really want to see if they'll bite this just as good if they, as they've been biting the single tail grub. That single tail grub has been lights out recently. So we're going to keep moving. We're going to hit a bunch of docks today really fast. Um, and hopefully pull in five good bass. So here we go. And so what's amazing to me is how predictable the pattern is becoming. Like docks are just holding fish. Just pull up on them, throw right toward the ladder or the front legs, and boom, bass are there. So I'm gonna hit a couple with this contact. If I don't get them, we're going back to the single tail grub. And I'm doing this because I did an experiment not too long ago between the two and the Kitek was holding its own. I just ran out of them. So I got some more and I really want to see which works better, the Kitek or the Grub. The Grub obviously is great, but we'll see what happens. All right, we had some good fortune here the other day. So we're gonna start with the Kitek in this spot. Wind is blowing me pretty good, so I hope I don't drift by too quick. That's a fish on the Kitek, yes. All right, so we got one to one. One to one. Nice fish, super cold fish. I'm talking super cold. All right, well, let's switch up and give the, this guy a try. Well, I've tried the single tail a couple times. 
try it one more time. If I don't get one, I'm gonna switch back to the Catech. That felt like a bite. Tech's got two on them. And see, that's what I mean. That's a clear test right there. Threw in the same spot a few times. Not big, but at least I got two. So we'll try to catch that one more time. I'm gonna try the grub then real quick. Good one too, guys. Let that drag a little bit. Yep. Nice one. Let's get the, let's get the net on this guy. Nice one. Look at that chunk. That's a chunky bass. Single tail grubs, like I'm trying to redeem myself. It's a really good bass. Let's weigh them real quick. I feel like it might be like two pounds, maybe. And I'm drifting way past the spot. Wow, two pounds on the dot. Two pounds on the dot. It's a nice two pounder though. We're gonna float by that one more time. Good, healthy, chunky fish. Let's get him back in the water. Come away, buddy. There you go. So I think that's two, two. And uh, Grubtail's got the tiebreaker. Right now, tiebreaker is gonna be biggest if it's a tie. That's why I like doing experiments like this because I threw that Kitek in there 
any other spot and it worked. Whereas this didn't, right here I threw the Kai Tech, it didn't work, but this worked. So some want this, some want the Kai Tech. I think we'll just have to throw both of them. All right, now we're kind of in between both docks. So I'm gonna fish this one that we just did one more time and then I'm gonna fish the one ahead of us. Just to see if it might be one more hanging out. Fish. Got him. Feels like a good one too, guys. fish Whew. that was so close I almost lost but this feels like another two-pounder for sure and now it's again on the grub tail here we go that's a beautiful looking fish. Got him right in the side. Jaw. I'm taking the boat out a little way so you can hopefully see me better. It was in the shadows just now. But yeah. It's a good fish right in front of this dock right here. Check that out. Nice, beautiful fish. Hopefully this guy's right around two as well. Feels like it might be a little over two. It's a little bit longer than the other one was. Thought so. Two pounds, five ounces. Here we go. Two pounds, five ounces. So we got a two pounder and a two pound, five ounce bass, probably within 10 yards of each other. Off two docks. Beautiful fish. Here we go. Let's get him back. So they're tearing up both of them. Kitek and the grub but I think the grub's getting the better of them so I'm going back by this dock again um, before I went with the grub tail and I was kind of going parallel with it now I'm just coming straight on in front of it maybe there's another one there but we'll see historical data tells me there's not and I should keep moving to the next dock because it seems like there's just one at the front of every dock so if I just keep running them I should hit most of them We can yank one out of here real quick. I feel like if I could slide right under that boat, there'd be one there for sure. That was a bite. Something small. Small yanked at it. All right, time to switch back up. Great cast. Fish. Oh my goodness, guys. It took off with it. What is happening with my... Oh. Woo. Guys, it took off as soon as it hit the water. But that cast was funny. Woo. 
hope you saw that splash. I lost them. But that just goes to show you, if you can make an accurate, precise cast that enters the water with minimal splash, if a fish is there, it's gonna bite most likely. Like, as soon as that thing hit, I mean, it hit that dock right there and it slightly went under the dock right in front of that leg on the inside. I just couldn't bring it home. It was a small one though. Like that right there was a good cast too. No fish though. So I can say with pretty much certainty, I can keep moving. There we go. Got him, guys. Got him, guys. That's what we can bring this one home. And I hope you were able to see, again, it kind of went under the dock, right under that leg. As long as you can do that, you'll get some fish. That's why practicing is important. So that when you get in that situation, you can make that right cast. This dock coming up looks good though. Ooh, perfect cast guys perfect cast and that's a fish what i tell you if you can make that cast just right you're gonna get them oh that's a good size one too probably another two pounder oh come on come on come on come up buddy come up buddy come up buddy I'm up, buddy. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo. It wanted to jump so bad, and I just pulled it the whole way. Now, I'm, I'm really not saying this in a braggadocious kind of way, but I'm just saying that cast was, I mean, right where it needed to be. And we've done that a few times now. I actually think I might be getting decent at this. Especially with this grub anyway. This thing's got some sharp teeth. But check that guy out. It's a chunky guy. I think that's another two pounder. Hopefully it is anyway. That will be three two pounders today. Yeah, two six. Hopefully you can see this. I know it's shaded, but two six. day so far really good day not a long fish but a chunky fish for sure let's get him back it's gonna be a hard road going back boy we'll be fighting the wind the whole way Here we go. That was a good one. That's a good cast. That's a fish. Oh. So it turns out all I needed was a fresh contact and an accurate cast. Bingo, got a fish. That cast, your next cast is so important. The more precise you can make that cast. I mean, I'm starting to notice a clear difference between when I make that right cast, it's almost automatic today. Even with these terrible winds and trying to control this John boat.
Yep. Something ate the, got the top of it. Whether it was an eagle or a propeller or something like that. This might be the same fish. Another little guy. That's a decent one. They do. Right in front of these docks is great. Right. Right. Well, gang, I did not get a chance to do a proper outro at the lake. Uh, I had some some traffic, some boat traffic there at the ramp, so I wanted to get out as quickly as possible so I wasn't in people's way. Anyway. Um, good day overall I think we got a lot of fish in the boat I don't know exactly how many but um, I would say it's close to 10 definitely got a, a little bit of quality in there today too which was good so fun day looking for a fun day tomorrow 
uh, as well. So hopefully uh, everything will go good. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you checking out the whole video. I hope something was said that was helpful to you on your next cast. Remember, practice makes permanent. The more you practice, the more accurate you can be, the more precise you can be with your cast, the more fish you're definitely gonna catch. Hope you have a good day and a good night. We'll see you next time.